Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us for this special live session. I'm Itzi Camiel, and we are here with a weekly sweet series, Switch It On, where we share ideas, insight, and inspiration to help you as a professional to switch relationships to revenue, referrals, and reputation. And you are invited to join me, and I hope you're joining now, and I see people joining us. Today, we're going to talk about something that I like very much, uh, as we call it, the power of names and specifically about how remembering people's names can really help you to connect better with people with your connections. So the first thing that every week I will ask each one of you joining us now, please type your name in the chat box that we see that you're joining and where you're dialing from. So I can say hello to you and everybody else can say hello to you. We join. So if you're joining us now, please type your name in the chat box where you're dialing from so I can say hello to you and everybody else. You know, are you one of those people who remember people's name right after you meeting them? Why is it so important to remember people's name in the first place? It's a generally recognized principle, but in psychology, called appropriately enough the Rumpelstiltskin principle. And after the Grimm Brothers' children fairy tales about the beautiful princess who, that could keep her child if she could just figure out the imp's name which was, of course, for Rumpel Stillskin. And, you know, I participated, and without exaggeration, you know, in quite a lot of conferences in my life, and I met a lot of people and still going there, and as well, I introduced many people to each other. And when doing so, and introducing two strangers to each other, many times they will spend, you know, a few minutes in the conversation and ending up without knowing or even remembering each other's names. How stupid it is, right? That's crazy. I mean, but let's face it. Blanking on somebody's name who just you met before, or worse, just being introduced to, is the borderline of rude and actually fully embarrassing. Don't you agree? How did you feel when someone forgets your name? Remember, nobody likes to be forgotten. And that's the, that's the importance, actually, of the name of the people. Now, I really believe that if you care about a person and sincerely want to build relationship with this person, you must, you must remember this person's name, at least the first thing you have to do, and use it as often as you can. Now, can you imagine a relationship between a husband and wife without them remembering each other's name? <laughs> I know some of you are laughing. Are you crazy? Of course, everybody remember the name. Can you dare to build a partnership? with potential business partners without knowing his or her name. Agree? Do you get the message? So the name is important, whatever you want to say. The name of this person is so important because it's part of paying attention and building relationship that you need to take the necessary time and energy to remember them. And nobody, and I promise you, because I talked to a lot of you, nobody will accept any excuse from you because you need to learn to remember name. So let me guess, if you agree with me, and I think you can pass very fast, the fact that this is important, it is showing your interest, it is showing that you give attention, your next question probably is, so, okay, it's like, how do I remember people's name? And now, indeed, sometimes it is difficult, even for me. Sometimes when I met somebody the first time, a name that I never heard before, and, and, and all of us remember a person's name, or even hard sometimes even to pronounce it. Now, I adapted during the years a few magical tools and tricks that I would like to share with you in this session, this episode, that you might find useful and practical. And you know, the proof is in the pudding, so I say just warm you to write it down for yourself and try it in your own life, in your own business, to see what magic and name of the person can add to building the relationship skills that hopefully you're working. Now, please remember that you have a permission to forget the name on an occasional basis, no problem. But as long as you do your best efforts to use all the tools I'll give you today to remember it. That's the deal? <laughs> I hope you, uh, you agree with me. Now, before I'm going to start, I'm going to want to say hello to the people who are joining me now. I see Rajiv, Diana, Dina, Elif, Raul. Awesome, awesome. And thank you very much for joining. Uh, and, and again, those of you joining, please type your name like Raul did. Where are you dialing from? And the order that we're all going to see, and if you have, of course, question, I'm going to definitely answer it and put it also in the chat so I can answer it and, and we, while we proceed with our episode today. 
So those who are joining now, we're speaking on the power of name in building relationship. And, and I said, I just mentioned what is important, but I'm now about to share with you to seven what I call magical tools to implement them yourself and share and, and share with me after you're doing it, your result, because I want to see that it works for you. But seven tools that you could help you to remember names of people. And let me start right away with the first one. And the first one I call it, every name is unique. And I hope you agree about it. Because if you're starting, if, if your starting assumption actually is every time you meet a new person, is you will definitely take the time to pay attention when you hear the name for the first time. And you're gonna give, give them sincere, genuine attention to the actual moment of exchanging the name with the other person. It shows that you care. It shows that you're interested and you don't treat it as a formality because it's very important. You see, this care will help you to create what we call psychological reaction and mental energy in the other person's brain. That will create a capacity to remember the name. That's how the body works. That's how the brain works. So when you commit to it, give it the time, the brain will open up and allow you to store that information in your memory. And we all have this capacity to remember other people's name. As you know, we don't use the power of our brain. So if you learn to use it better, everybody can remember name. So if you choose to forget somebody's name, maybe you're not really interested in that person. Hmm, interesting, right? So to be good in remember name, you need first to make a decision deep there in your heart that you really care and you really want to give your attention to this person. When you do that, only then, all the other magic tools I'm going to share with you today will greatly help you. Otherwise, if you don't have the right mindset, if you don't really care, it won't work. So that's the starting point. That's the main thing. Everybody, everybody's name is unique, and you need to give them this unique attention. Okay? Again, if you have any questions during when I'm sharing with you those tools, ideas and tools, please feel free to type in the chat box, and I will answer you. And if you're joining me now, right now, I see more people joining us, David, Alexa, and Alexander, and all of you, please, if you want to type your name in the chat, where you're dialing from, it will help all of us to know you here with us in the community. So the next tool, number two, to remember people's name that I want to share with you is, um, and I think part of you will remember that, that's repeat the name. See, it's very simple, but practical tool in repeating to yourself the name of the person. At least three times, as soon as you're going to hear it. Now, try to mimic the sound and the way the other person pronounces his or her name. And keep an eye contact when you're doing it with the other person while repeating his or her name. Why? Because by doing so, your brain will actually link the name with a visual image of this person's face. And that's, again, help the memory to store it and allow you to later on to, to bring it back to you, to, mem to remember them. Your brain will not ask you to pull it, what we call out the memory draw. There's a memory draw we call pig that's stored in your brain. And that's where you're doing it. The brain learns how to open that draw when you need it. And the next time you see that person. You may also, by the way, repeat this person's name sparingly by mentioning it in every interaction with him or her throughout the conversation or throughout the network even. You can always keep mentioning the name. It will help you remember it. Now, but be careful not to overdo it or to use it repetitive way. Now, when you're saying goodbye, that's another opportunity. Make sure to use the name one last time while looking again in the face of this, look at them in the face and make an effort to commit it again to your memory. All those things that you're repeating the name consistently in a genuine way will help your brain again store and remember people's name. Again, if you're joining now, we're talking about the power of names. You're very welcome to ask your question in the chat box and put your name where you're dialing from. So we're all going to know in the community. And, and if you want to join us and our conversation today. So we are now dialing to number three. Bring me to the next tool of remembering people's name. And number three is associate the name. You know, it's always great to associate two similar words together to stimulate your brain to remember them. 
And I don't know if you do that in other things, but definitely when you want to remember name, that's one of the nice things to do. So when somebody share his or her name with you, try to associate it with another word that's easy for you to remember, a different word. So maybe a word that rhymes with a name. Like, for example, Alex, Rolex, or Lisa, Pisa. Get it? So different names that maybe rhyme that help you. Or, or try maybe to link something of context of the conversation to their name. So, for example, Michael, who looks like Michael Bublé, or Dina or from Argentina. They think that maybe you talk to them about in conversation and connect again the face, the name, to the occasion you met them. You can also, by the way, combine a scene between the person name and something else. So um, something else, of course, you know about the specific person. So, for example, if you meet somebody named Rajiv from India, so imagine him standing next to the Taj Mahal. Get it? India, Taj Mahal. You can also, by the way, use colors, sounds, facial features, maybe big eyes, curly hair, because the, the brain think in vivid picture, not in black and white. The more vivid you make it, the easier it will be for you to store it, to remember it, and put it out when you need it. And to make the person and the name of this person very distinguishable for yourself of your own brain. Now try to select the most, the most outstanding feature and attach that to that name because then you'll be able to store that specific person. And that's by the way the association behavior is based on what we call mnemonics. Mnemonics. Mnemonics is the combination between the senses and imagination. And that will transform, actually in our brain, boring information into something more vibrant, something that can easily store it in our memory. As I said, memory leads to something vibrant, vivid, to store it. And that's what you're doing so, that's how the brain works. I mean, promise you, do it yourself, and I promise you, if you see it, it will work magically. So the, the proof is in the pudding, you have to try things I'm telling you, and telling, and, and you're very welcome to give back the feedback to me. Send me a message, say it worked, didn't work, what did you like the most? Yeah. Again, I want to say hello to the people who are joining us again. And thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking the time. It's going to be a short, as I promise always, but very powerful session. So stick with me because we are talking about the power of the name. And I already mentioned three of them. Number one I mentioned was every time, every name is unique. Number, the second one I mentioned is repeat the name. The third tool I mentioned to you is associate the name. And now we are number four. And number four is content, uh, sorry, connect the name. Number four is connect the name as a tool to remember people's name. So another way association can be really helpful is to make a connection between the person you met and someone else you already know, or even a celebrity that everybody knows with the same name. So like Sam, like my best friend, Sam, or Sharon, that looks like Beyonce. You see, so those, those association when you connect the name for something else, it will help you create a mental picture of this new person standing standing beside the someone else you already know. That's what you associate them. And because you know the other person well, and maybe they even have the same name or similar name, it would easier store in your brain. Yeah? So association is very easy to be done. If you know somebody look like and the name the same, it's very easy and one of the easiest tools to use to remember people's name. And actually, that brings me to the next tool to remember people's name. Number five, we're very much connected to it. And number five is um, ask for the name again. Not simple to a lot of you, I know, but a lot of you are afraid to do it. There's nothing wrong of asking the other person to remind you his or her name. No, the opposite, I think. It shows that you're sincerely interested in them and the fact that you are willing to give your full attention to the other person, that's why you're interested in the name, okay? So seize the moment though, be sure to say that you didn't catch the name or something similar straight away after they tell, I told you the name, that showed interest. Sometimes, especially when you never heard the name before or the name needs to be said again, perhaps more clearly or more slowly. Now, remember, you need to listen well the second time, okay? Don't let them repeat it 200 times and don't ask every time you forgot it because you're not sincere. 
And another possibility to ask the name is by introducing your new acquaintance, somebody you just uh, want to introduce to that person that you already know, and hopefully they will step up and introduce themselves, giving you the opportunity to hear their name again. Okay, so you can ask it directly or by introducing somebody else, you're going to hear the name again. It will allow you to remind you again the name of these people. But remember, be sincere about it. Be interested in them because that's the power of remember people's name. Yes, number six, you ready? Again, if you have any question, chat box is for you. I'll continue sharing the knowledge and I'm here for you. So if you have any question, Share it. Otherwise, I'm giving you the knowledge and your obligation to implement it in your life, in your practice, to see that it works. So number six, number six, the tool to help us that not many of us use is asking to spell the name. Ask to spell the name. Another easy tool is asking the other person to spell for you his or her name. You now, as soon as you meet them, and at the same time, they do it, you should spell it in your mind and see yourself writing the letter of the specific name, how they're spelling it to you. Or you can write it in read on a piece of paper if needed. You might even like to add some notes for yourself about this person, looks and personality, a good opportunity, and where you met them. This is, by the way, what we call metadata. We can use, by the way, in the follow-up. But it's a good opportunity at the same time when you spell the name to add those knowledge. See, your brain will be forced in this way to store the information and the spelling you just learned. And that's what the power of it when you repeat the name or in memory or in writing to the, mem to the memory and the brain. You see, this technique can be helpful if you have a visual memory because it creates a, what we call mental picture in your brain of the other person name. So if appropriate, exchange business cards with the other person and have a good look at Spelling of the name. That also would help you create this mental picture. Okay? But don't be hesitant to asking about the spelling. There's nothing wrong with it. It's the opposite. It shows that you're interested. Because people like when you take interest in them, including you. So when you do that, you show the interest in the other people, and they just get a better connection with them. So that's easy tips, easy ideas that help you memorize People name. And I want to see if anybody have any comments, any thoughts. I see just good people using another LinkedIn user anonymity said good conduct. I'm happy. I'm happy that you're interested. And there are more to come. So I'm actually number six, and I mentioned six ideas and tools you can remember people's name. And again, the only way to know if it works, if you practice. So I have you listening to me, but I love that you implement and execute the things. And now I'm coming with number seven. Number seven tool to remember names for you is sorry for that, is the name as a game. And I must admit, I'm not necessarily using it myself, but I met a lot of people in, in, in all over the world who likes to create a small game out of the names of people. And that's a very good, if you know how to gamify it, it will help you memorize people's name. Now, the solution may work when you are in maybe a small group and wants to remember all the name of all the people in the same time. So that's very helpful in you have a group of people, not only one, because that gave you a very way, a fast way to remember people's name. So for example, how do you gamify the name? With every name that you hear somebody saying, you can repeat the previous name of the other people you heard before. But again, by looking at the faces and memorizing them. And then every name added, again, repeat from the beginning. And that's how your brain starts storing name by name. They would add, the brain has amazing abilities to create visual connections and patterns to help you, by the way, remembering. So a lot of you don't tap in that power. We have amazing power of remembering things if you know how to tap into it. Now, I use this method sometimes in my keynote presentation in events. You see, when I repeat people's name in a group loudly, it gives, by the way, a special warm feeling to every person that you remember his or her name. How does he remember me? Because there's thousands of people in the audience that it's remember my name. Okay, so that's how powerful it is when you repeat people's names one after another. But again, it's another ability for your own brain to memorize people's name. Yeah, I don't know if you have anybody have any question. You're welcome to ask me right now because it's uh, almost half an hour that we are here. But I want to, to answer your question. So if you have anything, you tried anything, it works for you, if you have a remark, 
Now's the time to add it in the comments. You know, because if you're practicing those tips, those tools, those ideas, those tricks, remembering name to strengthening your recall of people's name, using a person's name is actually a key to opening doors for you and to give your authentic attention that really could turn this person into a new friend for life or a life big, a long business partner. So I want you really to switch on your brain and make this decision, this commitment to start remembering people's name from today. You know, positive affirmation. If you say, if I ask people, do you remember them? Most people say, no, I don't remember them. What you just did, you give your brain a negative affirmation. So turn it on and think about positive affirmation. How can I tell my brain from now on, hey brain, you're my slave, start remembering name starting from today. Now, I want to summarize this great session, but let me share with you a quote that Dale Carnegie said a long time ago, who said about the important element of the name in building relationship. He said, a person's name is to that person the sweetest and the most important sound in every language. And I have a proof to you. We call it also the bar effect. If you go to a bar, you know, a lot of noise, people talking to each other, and somebody shouts your name. Hey, Alex, you're going to hear it far away, I promise you. Because that's the power of the a name to the brain of the person. is the sweetest sounds that Nedel Carnegie said. And that's why I want you to stand out of the crowd and start learning to remember people's name. You can do magic without them. You build relationship when you network, even by the way, when you send email and you want the email to be 10 times faster to be opened by the other people. And that's something I will share. If you will connect with me, I'll tell you more about that. So now my friend, it's time to take action and implement what you have learned in this session. I trust you got some insight here about the power of names in building relationship. And of course, if you need any help in implementing it in your practice, in your life, or if you just want to build or to learn how to build better relationship, or maybe the key account uh, in your practice or key clients or key uh, employees internally, build relationship internally with your own employees, this is exactly what we do for our clients. We help to build an engaging relationship with your clients, with your prospect, with the workforce. So send us an email, send me a PM message, uh, direct to see how can we help you. Next week, we have another amazing top expert to discuss and no practical strategy to grow your practice, to build better relationship, reputation, and referral. So if you want, by the way, make sure to follow up, make sure that you don't miss any of these tips I'm sharing with you on a regular basis and any switch on interview series. And of course, follow me on LinkedIn or go to the switch up website. You could sign up to get my business development strategies and tips and check and register to one of my new online courses and live workshop. You can find a lot of new things coming in. Beautiful workshop, how to network online and offline, networking with the results, a conference networking compass, exactly to get the results. Stop wasting your time meeting people without getting results. Just learn those things. And you're very welcome, by the way, to send me a private message or an email to ask your question and see if I can be valuable to you, or your practice, or suggest you some ideas. For now, I want to thank each one of you for joining us, for being here today with me. I thank you very much. I, I see you have no question anymore. So I want to end up, see you everyone next Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central European time, 12 p.m. Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific time. And remember, it's never, never too late to switch on and start remembering people's name. Bye for now, everybody. Thanks for watching.